going on everybody secret agent stash here i'm on assignment out in the field here with mission number one reassignment to twitch so i've been trying to move all of my stuff my i gotta keep it down because i'm on assignment here but i've been trying to move all of my stuff uh, my gaming content from my youtube channel over to twitch so this is the, one of the first missions here with the new format i'm gonna be coming to you guys every thursday as Secret Agent Stash right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play my favorite blockchain-based games every Thursday at 4 p.m. And what does that mean? So we're gonna come, we're gonna play blockchain games, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna do giveaways. I got a couple great giveaways uh, for you guys today. I'm gonna be doing a feature on Nine Lives Arena, which is an amazing PvP game that is being in development right now. And we're going to talk all about that, and we're going to give away a random Oogie, which is one of the really cool helpers in the game, and it's an NFT. And so uh, I'm also going to give away a Stash Dragon. If you guys don't already have one of my Stash Master of the Hordes NFTs, I'm going to give one of those away too. Shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right. Secret, uh, Secret Agent Stash here on assignment. Appreciate you guys sticking around. That's right. I was just sniping. I was I was over hidden in the bushes as a secret agent over in the engine art auction house. And I sniped on an original one of one NFT from my buddy Dano. That's how we do it. Stash. Pew, 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 pew. Got you, suckers. Pew. All right. So let's jump into this. Let's go play some Nine Lives Arena. But I want to talk a little about this. And hey guys, thank you guys for all joining. So let's who's here? We got Neurocolor. Thanks for joining, Burton. What's up, man? I, I outbid you. I had to come big baller status. You know how Big Daddy Stash jumps into it. Secret agent status. I can't. I, I couldn't let that one go. <laughs> uh, MW, what's up, man? Good to have you in here as well. Ludger, dude. I have not seen you around forever, man. I haven't been doing any streaming and stuff, man. Good to see you. Soda days, buddy. What's going on? Uh, so, all right, yeah, so, you know, in general, I want to talk, uh, what I'm going to do in, on this show is I'm going to talk a little bit more about games as I play the games, right? Uh, so, I want to talk a little bit more about PvP games today as I introduce you to this PvP game. We're going to do a giveaway here in about five minutes. So, if you guys are going to stick around here for five minutes, we're going to do the first giveaway. We're going to do two giveaways today. I'm going to do a giveaway every time I do a live stream every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. But Secret Agent Stash is going to be on the mission. So what we're going to do, though, before we jump on this mission, of course, is we got to jump into a disguise. So we, I'm, I'm in my Secret Agent, you know, my my this is my uniform. This is what we wear, right? Normally, this is my Secret Agent outfit. But if I'm going on a mission, I got to wear a disguise, guys, right? I got to wear a disguise. So today, we're going to we're gonna change into a disguise before we go on a secret mission. But I want to introduce you guys a little bit to uh, nine, uh, nine Lives Arena. That's what we're talking about today, Nine Lives Arena. So I'm going to introduce you to that. But first, I got to change into my disguise. So you guys get to see this live. We're going into this disguise, and we're going to head on mission, on assignment to Nine Lives Arena. And for sure, while I'm in there as a secret agent, they'll ne they're never going to recognize me while I'm in game there with this disguise. You guys are going to love this. So watch. I'm going to be right back. And I'm going to be back in a disguise. You guys stick around two seconds and you'll see we're going to disguise right now. Back in a second. It's a me, Agent Stash. See, they never know who it is when I'm jumping in the game now with this disguise, right? 
It's Agent Sash here. So you guys are like this costume. I'm just a regular old plumber. No one's ever going to know me or they're not going to know this is Agent Stash on a mission infiltrating this game. They're never going to know me in this disguise, guys. Isn't this one? This is a good one, right? Eh, eh, it goes to the stash. <laughs> it's a me. So, all right. <laughs> now here we are. It's Agent Stash. I'm in my disguise. We're ready to go. Now I can jump in game and they're not going to know it's me. I can cover the game. We can talk about it and no one's going to, they're, they're not going to know it's me that I'm jumping in here. So I want to introduce you guys, introduce you guys here to, um, to uh, nine lives arena. So let's, let's go do this. This is fun. Let's go do this. It's like 007 introducing himself as 007. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I just said who I was. So, all right, so this is Nine Lives Arena. I'm getting ready to select my character here. Uh, I have two characters, so I have my Super Stash, who is a higher level character. He can, he's the one who can die, but we're, we're training up our regular Stash. And so I'm gonna jump in as just plain old Stash. All right, here we are, Nine Lives Arena. So look, here, here, here I am, plain old Stash here. This is Nine Lives Arena. So, you know, this is a game that is in an alpha state. So very early on in this, but man, for an alpha game, there's it, it's actually really fun and there's a lot that you can actually do. You know, some of the systems obviously are going to be improved over time and they're adding a bunch more all the time. But in general, uh, it's the mechanics are really good and it's very, um, I want to say like Bushido Blade esque, where you have to, uh, if you guys know Bushido Blade old school, uh, where, where it's all it's a lot more about strategy than button mashing things around, right? Uh, so I think that's kind of the biggest thing there. But when we talk about kind of like PvP games, you know, what what do you, you I don't know, what do you guys think when, when I say when I say a PvP game, right? When I say oh it's, it's a PvP game, because that's what you guys like. Oh, what kind of game is it? Oh, it's a PvP game. Well, what does that really mean to you guys? Let me know what you guys think there at chat, what you, what you guys think about that, what a PvP game means to you. But, you know, in, in my opinion, I want to, well, I'm just going to, actually, I want to take it back a second because this is something we talked about uh, not too long ago, actually, on this stream, when I first streamed Nine Lives Arena not too long ago, uh, the fact that, you know, PvP has not necessarily been around that long. Really, like, this uh, multiplayer where you're playing against people you don't know. You know, before online games, it was all about maybe playing somebody uh, who was right next to you, right? Uh, or maybe a buddy on like a LAN or something, but it wasn't this multiplayer experience where you're playing against strangers and that like real intense, uh, uh, you know, uh, that real intense feeling is there, you know, a lot, a, a lot of adrenaline rush is going on. And so the first PvP games right you know came from these multiplayer experiences and it was you know it was simply just people griefing the hell out of people who just wanted to play the game and you know so but but though but it was it was still a thrill to it you know and things were so new that it was like oh this is really cool because we could never do this before right it was kind of this this new era where it was like we couldn't before you couldn't do things but now you can and so pvp is actually really interesting and new so when it first started it had this really cool edge to it and you know there was a lot of games like ultima online we talked about here before if you guys know ultima online and uh you know that that was that's a pvp game uh, and where you, when it first came out you know people were so afraid of losing their stuff because if you lost your stuff uh, then you know you, you're done you lost it and, and and some pk was going to take the, those things from you and so there was consequences uh, in, in these in these early pvp games because you know we didn't have the experience that we do now and is it good or bad i don't know honestly i feel like at this point you know uh, everyone's kind of gone soft when it comes to like real PVP type of games, because you know what happens is you, uh, early on you it, it was PVP was incorporated just into into these first games. So you had games like UO where they they were the first online multiplayer games, and they had PVP elements inside of them. Now you have games that are just dedicated solely to PVP, so you're only attracting that specific crowd. You know before you had this kind of mixture of things, and you know you still have games that are trying to find that balance of PVP playing here and doing that. Uh, but it's still uh, it's still one of those things that, that you know it has as I feel like has gotten a little bit soft. But this game, Nine Lives Arena, I feel brings things a little bit back, right? It brings things back into kind of that that classic feel of of really risking something, 
Uh, yeah, Pong equals PvP. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah you, Pong definitely, yeah. And so, you know, those things were great, and, and you could do that, and, and, you know, play versus player. But when we talk about, like, a, a multiplayer online experience where you're playing against strangers, which, you know, was something I think is, is, a, is a big adrenaline, bigger adrenaline rush than playing against your buddy that's sitting next to you on the couch eating Cheetos and shit stuff in his face, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I think that uh, in, in general, it's it's just about, uh, you, you know, that the, 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 there was constant consequences and people had to you know had to kind of fear those consequences and whereas you know that that i think that that style of game has kind of gone away as much you know now things are more focused you know they want to give people a choice they don't want to allow you to you know be griefed or pk you know they don't want to build games like that anymore but nine lives arena is specifically built uh with consequences you know for your actions for your fighting because you only get nine lives right i mean well it's right there in the title so it makes sense huh so you only get nine lives. So what you know, basically, what we're doing right here is this is a PvP game where you battle in an arena. It's an arena battle game. It's very tactic based. Uh, you have weapons and armor that you can craft. So there are some RPG elements to it. Uh, and so crafting requires you to gather re resources and materials, which you do using your Oogie, O O O G Y, which is a cool little guy. I'm going to show you guys right now. And your Oogie helps you to collect things on the beach for materials and to be able to upgrade your stuff and to get new spells and unlock new new, new things for your character. Uh, so it's pretty vital to the game, uh, this Oogie, right? And so, um, you know, it, it, it's it's one of the really cool things about that the game is because it does kind of still have more uh, some RPG elements there. So instead of just you're always fighting all the time, you do have to like build your character and you do it in kind of, you know, a simpler way than maybe a, a traditional RPG where you're out adventuring a bunch and it's taken tons of grind and stuff like that. This is very straightforward and simple right now. Uh, in this alpha state where you just go around you collect resources you uh you, you donate this um, donate them essentially to the gods you know and uh then you get things so uh, i'm going to take you guys a little bit around uh here at nine lives arena and i'm going to show you hopefully some training matches here we'll see if we can get some people in a match and after i show you guys the beach and oogie and all of the good stuff but i think that like i said you know nine lives arena is this classic kind of has this classic kind of pvp feel to it because it's all about uh you know it's all about consequences right it's about having something on the line when you step into that arena, once you've hit level 30 and you're done training, you step into that arena, uh, you, you lose and your life is gone. So your belt goes from nine to eight, <laughs> which I love. I think that they, uh, I love the fact that they made that a central focal point of the character build themselves, uh, which I think is really sweet and that your number is right there uh, on your belt. So this is the beach right here. And you can see uh, uh, if you guys are looking at the interface, you know, I got my Oogie in the top. He's asleep right now. So I'm, but you see him over in the top right in this corner of my, in my screen, my HUD. And we're going to hail Oogie here and get, wake his ass up. Come on, Oogie, wake up. Yep, yawn. I love the Oogie. This character is so cute and fun. This is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. I know I, I should probably love the battling and, and conquering over my enemies, but... You know, the Oogie is a lot of fun, actually. So, your Oogie is kind of like your helper. He does all the things. He, he, he's, he's, he's your little, um, your troll, and he's rolling around the island. So, you can get him to craft things. You can get him to uh, gather stuff. So, uh, right now, what I've been doing is uh, he's been gathering things for the skill shrine. So, but you got to feed him. So, see, he's going here to get some food in the pot. So, I got to step on the pot here. And so, you see, what you do is with this pot is the stew pot. So, he's going back to bed. He's like, there's no food, man. You didn't feed me. Why didn't you feed me? Stash, secret agent stash, I'm starving. So I gotta take the fish that I caught because you can go fishing, which I'll show you right now. <laughs> and uh, I add the fish to the pot. You can see, and so I had seven and now I only have one. So six win the pot, that gives me one hour of oogie time. What does that mean? What does one hour of oogie time mean? Well, what it means is that this character will do this collection of things just AFK. So everyone is like, hey, I love all these other games how are like, oh, well, you can't bod, no, no botting, no AFK, anything, grinding. But this game lets you do it. You have to build your Oogie up, and the, lo the more you build your Oogie up through him, you know, um, crafting things and gathering things and leveling up, uh, the longer he will do AFK stuff. So you just go get him a bunch of fish like I just did, and you put it in the pot, and now I have an hour of Oogie time. And you can see it over in the top corner there of my screen. Uh, I have an hour uh, counting down in the orange bar. So that's how long he's going to be out here collecting all this stuff. So you see he's collecting like seashells. 
Like, uh, here's a, a seashell. And there's a couple, yeah, see, there's a bunch out here. There's a bunch, you know, they're all over. So he's, see, they're, I'm popping them all, but they just run through them. So that's all you gotta do is collect seashells. And so you see, you collect these resources. I'll just collect a bunch and I'm gonna go turn them in so you guys can see. Collect resources so you can level up, essentially. And these, the, the resources, like, respawn and stuff uh, fairly quickly. Oh, bag is full. And so then what you gotta do is there's these shrines, you gotta take them over here to kind of donate them to, and this is how you get level up goals. Uh, I haven't really figured out the ring one as much as I as this sacrifice. one is pretty integral right here. Music's a bit too loud. I'll turn that down, man. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. So uh, I sacrificed these shells to to the uh, to the god here. And I get points, and his little thing goes up. So when he gets to the the other side, when he gets to the other side, then uh, it, see in here, Ugi's gonna go do it too, and so you guys can see what it looks like. See, he's gonna add his stuff. So he's been out there gathering. He'll gather for the next hour on his own. I could just sit here. I could go do some other stuff. I could I could leave the game running and come back, and Ugi's still here. <laughs> so it's pretty cool like that. Uh, I really think that's pretty fun, you know. Uh, let me see if I can adjust this out real quick. Music volumes pump in. Let's take it down here. Take her on down. There we go. All right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, this game is still in, in, in pre alpha state or alpha state right now, but it's still got a ton of function and uh, all, all like the main stuff is kind of here already. And so, we were talking about. So, I, wa I wanted to show you guys the Oogie because we're going to do a giveaway right now. So, all you guys that have been sticking around, they've been hanging out. Uh, we're gonna do a giveaway right now, and we're gonna do a giveaway for an Oogie. So these Oogies are actually NFTs, guys. They're NFTs that uh, that you know I can send to you. So these are these are uh, non fungible tokens. They're they're cryptocurrency based tokens that I can say here. If you have this and you hold this in the wallet that you connect to the game, you can connect this wallet called Engine Wallet to the game. You connect your engine wallet to the game. Uh, you hold this, and you can use it uh, on your Oogie in game. So, uh, and, and so that's kind of the features that they're building out that are the blockchain-based features. People are like, well, what? It's a blockchain game. What are the blockchain features? Well, they have all these blueprints for gear, weapons, armor, things like that for Oogies uh, that you can buy and sell and trade on the blockchain, and you have true ownership of those those items. And they have rarity. There, some of them are super rare. Some of them are legendary. And you can you actually can trade those in a marketplace, and the, you know this game is not even live, and there's already trading going on with these assets. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you I'm, I'm gonna give away a uh, an Uki now, guys. And so let me see, we're gonna we're gonna get this going. So, uh, giveaway number one, it's ten. We're gonna do ten minutes. So I'm gonna start the giveaway right now. You guys have ten minutes, and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, all you gotta do is put in um, you know uh, exclamation secret into the chat to enter to win. So if you guys want to jump in on this giveaway right now, uh, just go ahead and put exclamation secret into the chat and we're gonna give away a, a, a random Oogie NFT. Look, there, there goes my Oogie again. <laughs> he's back again, man. He's already done all that stuff there and so he's gonna go He's gonna go turn in all his stuff. So, uh, the, and these Oogies are pretty cool. So you can go and see uh, uh, all the different ones that are on sale in the marketplace in the Engine X dot io marketplace it's e n j i e n j i n x dot i o and you can go to the marketplace there you can see all the different oogies uh, this would be a random one but you know what it comes down to is that you'll get a really cool oogie out of this so uh about 10 minutes here we get uh, when we get we'll come back here and we'll draw a winner i'm gonna show you guys some more nine lives arena while we're waiting for this to go but definitely make sure you guys put in uh exclamation secret to enter in the drawing for a random oogie Okay, so Oogie's out there, he's doing his thing. So that was that that this is the skill shrine, and that's how you earn skills. And you guys can see the skills down the bottom. I have one, you know, one, two, three, so like here I'll do number two. Uh, this is like shield uh, And then I have so, so you know you can use spells and and these are skills as well in this game and, and for you know mostly for fighting, but I just want to show you guys that uh, they have those here too, which is pretty cool. Uh, but um, no, nothing really, I mean, like I said, nothing else really beyond what I just showed you as far as the beach. 
Uh, so you, you pick up all these different things and you can give them away. So there's a skill shrine, which uh, is how you get skills. Oh yeah, the ring shrine. That's what I'm showing. The ring shrine. So here's the ring shrine. To get rings that you can enchant and stuff like that, you put here. Uh, I haven't built up enough to get enough rings. I, I, I need to be able to put a ring in here to get one, so... Uh, still haven't got there yet. So right right now, if you guys notice, I'm level 13. You can see that in the top corner there in my, in my uh, character stats. You have to get to level 30 before you can be admitted into... Um, before you can get admitted into like what is called the, uh, the main arena. Right now, I'm in the training area, or the training arena. And so that's... Uh, that's basically what uh, where I'm at right now. So I, I have to train until I get to level 30 on the training arena, and then I can actually fight for my life. <laughs> You're literally fighting for your lives. Your nine lives. Uh, okay, so here's the other element too. So you can do fishing. Fishing is real simple. You just run out to the water, boom, and we just wait for a fish to bite. It's that simple. Hey, what's up, BD man? Thanks for joining me here. I haven't been on Twitch in a while, in a minute. Yeah, you know, I'm just getting started back on Twitch. Uh, I, I, most of my stuff has been on YouTube for a long time. I actually just passed 4K subs on YouTube. <laughs> uh, so, I'm, but I'm trying to build up my Twitch because I'm trying to do some more game streaming, focusing on blockchain gaming. So, all right. So here's our little thing. We've caught a fish. We got to grab him, and, and it's got. We got to stop it in the middle. And if we did, we get a fish. Small fish, one X. There we go. So now I just keep fishing until I get enough fish to be able to feed Oogie. Uh, right now, for about an hour, I think it's six fish, six small fish, for about an hour. So, so if you guys are in chat and you guys haven't done, if you guys haven't uh, done exclamation seeker, make sure you guys do it. Let me see how much time we got left. We got six minutes and counting before I draw a winner. All right, so we got another fish there. We'll just run them around. See, I'm just gonna grab some shells. Your backpack fills up like really quick too, so you'll you'll see my backpack like, oh, your bag's full, uh, because I already have fish in it too, and it, there's not a lot of room. <laughs> I need a backpack expansion, guys. Where's my backpack expansion? So I just give it. There's just these ones. The, sh the little shells are, are not worth much. It's the bone. It's all with one point. Uh, the good stuff is like the Nautilus shells and uh, the conch shells. Oh, there's a really cool monument over here. I'm going to show you guys real quick, actually. So the beach is not that big. like So it's over here, and it goes over this way. But there's a cool monument on this side, so I want to show you guys this. Waterfalls and stuff. Like, the graphics in here is pre are pretty cool already. As I said, like, they've done a really good job in this area. And since, you know, they're not doing massive maps, like a lot of RPGs are doing, they're not doing, you know, crazy massive maps. Um, yeah, these are the so great. 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 yeah. Uh, they they can focus more on the details here on this on this one map because it's really you know just around a little bit of this RPG element and then around the arena stuff. So uh, let's take you let's let's go inside the arena. We're gonna go inside the arena, leave the beach, leave Oogie behind. He can do his stuff. He's out here. He's got plenty of fish. Oh, out of stamina. So we have stamina, we have like your magic, which is the blue, stamina is yellow, and, and life is green. So this is the arena, and there's other things going on in here too, so this is where you do crafting and other things. So uh, we have like our training here, I'm gonna go over and punch this guy, boom! Let's see, I can take my sword out, barbarian sword, oof, roll, roll. Roll. <laughs> Put that away. And then, so here, you, this is like to smelt your resources. So you can have like raw iron ore, so I can process that. I just need some wood. And here you can choose your character. So if you're already in-game, you want to switch your characters. I thought this was actually pretty cool and ingenious. This is like an in-game graphical way to switch your characters. I don't know if I've ever really seen that before, where you could see your other characters kind of sitting there. But I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so I can just switch my character right there. Uh, and then we have, this is where you do a lot of the stuff. So here's where you do all of your crafting. So you can see you can get your Oogie in here to do blacksmithing. You see, he's a clueless blacksmith right now. Uh, so he doesn't, he's not very, he's not very uh, good at blacksmithing, but he can make some basics, right? Uh, so I just have to, I would have to get him to come in here. And then here's my inventory. So this is my chest of all my things. So you can see all my gear, like starter boots. I got these black mage uh, gauntlets not too long ago. These are, the rest of the stuff is all basic, but here's I have the ring of the bowl movement speed plus four percent. That's big because movement speed is a little bit slow. 
And then here's the the book that uh, where you get to, like your level up your spells. I don't have any points to allocate, but here's where you do it. All right, so let's see. We're gonna see if uh, I don't think anyone's in the training arena right now. Let's go see. I'm gonna. So you know, there might be other people who are are fishing uh, or who are hanging out. Let's see if. Uh, Let's see if we can get people to come out. Come train with Crypto Stash. Oh, I shouldn't have told them. Oh, why did I say that, man? I was, I'm, I'm here in disguise. I should have said just come train with Bob, Bob the Plumber. I'm a horrible secret agent. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we got two minutes. Two minutes left. You know, oh Burton, yeah. I, do I have an Oogie NFT? I, I don't. Actually, I don't have an Oogie NFT. I need to get. I need, I, I I wanted to get some in the aftermarket, but I actually bought an Oogie in a skin uh, in their limited sale here not too long ago. So, all right, here we go. Me versus Epic Man. It's on. What's he gonna do? See, it's all about stamina control, really. Ooh, we got the lightning. Shadow. Oh no, I'm a frog! You turned me into a frog! Ooh, that was a good he got me on that one. So see it's very it's very much about it's very much about strategy. You gotta manage your stamina. You gotta manage your stamina and not not go too crazy. You may, I don't know. You may. Ah! Oh, he got me. Ooh, that was a, that was a really good fight, actually. That was a great fight. So he only had 316, and uh, so I got some experience there. There you go. So this is like the thing. So it shows you like what you get if I if I want you get like you get some some little loots, you know. So you can see this guy right here, Epic Man, um, and you kind of see what he's got. Some see he's got his stuff leveled up pretty good. So I resurrect. Here I go from the ashes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go see if we let's go do another match. All right, we got fit 10 seconds to enter. If you guys haven't entered already, you got 10 seconds only to enter. Exclamation secret. I'm going to draw a winner for this Oogie NFT. Thanks to the Nine Lives Arena team for donating that for the stream, too. They're awesome guys. Uh, Dread is an awesome dude. We had a great conversation, like I said, about UO and about the game. And uh, really cool to have them here. this fight BD <laughs> all right the raffles closed just so you guys know Crazy close. Great, great game. So close. Man, that was a good one. All right, I'm going to do another battle right now, but I got to give away with this winner. So let's pick a winner right now.
All right, so we're going to pick a winner here. All right, and the winner is Dausha TV. Dausha TV, hey man, congratulations. You are the winner of the Oogie, NFT Oogie, Dausha. Did I say that right? Dausha, Dausha TV? I think that's it. Oh, and here, I, I, I'm just over here reading the chat. I'm, I'm catching up a chat. So Dredd says he actually will give away two Oogie NFTs, so we'll do another giveaway here in a second. Awesome. Thanks, Red. Uh, so, Dalsha, just uh, make sure to message me here on Twitch. Uh, message me here on Twitch, and I'll get you your prize. I'll send it to, you, to your wallet. We'll get you all hooked up with that. Even if you don't know how to claim it, I'll, I'll definitely guide you through the whole process so you can get that uh, going on. So, All right, we're going to jump here on the pad. We're going to do another match. So, if you guys want to come train here with Stash. But, grats, Dalsha, on that first NFT, Oogie. Uh, we're gonna do another one here and just we'll, we'll do this match or maybe we'll do this match another match and then we'll do another giveaway for Noogie and we got a stash dragon that we'll do a giveaway for it too so all right now we're fighting ace I got all I got every, everyone's coming out that likes to fight they're all they're all uh, much much better at this than I am So trying to uh, trying to manage that stamina is really is really hard there, you know. Uh, and like I said, I'm still I'm still really new to this game, so I think I do pretty well for for being such a noob. I'm a noob, but I'm doing pretty good, right, guys? <laughs> All right, I'm jumping back on the pad. I'm gonna do one more fight here, and then I'm gonna do another giveaway for an Oogie because Dread is feeling he's feeling particularly generous today. So. <laughs> So we're gonna do we're gonna do another giveaway here for another uh, Oogie NFT. If you guys stick around for that, and then I'll do I'm gonna do another giveaway for a Stash Dragon too here later on. So uh, we'll, we'll have that all going. All right, Graga the Dark. Humiliate me on stream like that. Frog death. <laughs> See, it's funny, you know. <laughs> so, like, uh, obviously, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that I was. Uh, hey, oh, thanks, uh, uh, Retro BT. Uh, my buddy's producer BTW it was one of my good friends, also a streamer here on Twitch. Thanks for stopping by, buddy, and, and cheering 100 bits for me, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, it's really cool, man. I'm just, like I said, trying to get started here, and I appreciate all the people who, you know, support me and uh, are here just hanging out, you know, hanging out. So, yeah, really cool. Thanks. Oh, boo, squat, squatting up. Boom, there we go. 
host of my stream. Hey, once again, there we go. That squad up, man. He's he's uh, uh thanks producer BTW. He does a great show. It's every Saturday. Uh, it's every Saturday on Twitch at 8 uh, a.m. Pacific time. And he talks all about video games. I try and get on there as much as I can. I, I'm usually sleeping at 8 a.m., but I try and get up for him because that's how much I like him, dude. That's how much for homies. So thanks, buddy. <laughs> so definitely go watch his show on Saturdays, 8 a.m. If you love video games. He actually has a really great guest on this uh, this Saturday, I believe. Uh, it's it's the actor that played Johnny Cage and some of the original stuff and did like the acting and stuff for it. Really cool. So definitely go look at that. Yeah, I'm disguised today as Secret Agent Stash, uh, Mario. This is, this is my plumber uh, disguise. So I figured no one would recognize me as a plumber infiltrating this game and, and being disguised here. So... <laughs> All right, so let's get back to this. Uh, so Dausha says, can I make a heal tank build? You probably can't. I have, uh, there, there's definitely a heal. Um, I, you know, when I first did this game, like started this character, I didn't really know all the spells and what I should be doing, whatever. So I just randomly chose some and turns out I didn't choose very well. <laughs> so I, I chose a bit poorly and that is the reason why uh, maybe I, I don't have some of the things. So yeah, heal is one of the ones I should get. Um, and there was a couple other ones that I, you know, I, I need to respec on, but I, I, I'm getting there. We're training. Once we get to level 30, hopefully we'll have um, some more, some more diamonds so I can respec my character a little bit more and uh, get some better spells and things that are more aligned with the way I want to play. You know, because there's like a shadow one too that's pretty cool as well. I, I did. I chose. I chose poorly. Uh, and honestly, that would be kind of cool if that was the effect when you died. You just like withered away into into dust, like a la Indiana Jones Last Crusade. Like you died, and you just went, Aah! just like the guy does at the end. That'd be so awesome. <laughs> I want a game that does that on upon death. Uh, that would be a lot of fun, actually. All right, here we go. We got a match. Who's coming? Who's coming to fight Stash? Who wants some? Morlock. I might have fought this guy before. Remember. Disappeared. Come on. Oh man, come on, really? See, I'm all over the place. I'm ah, ah, just like a barbarian would, right? Barbarian plumber <laughs> over here is just like a barbarian plumber would. <laughs> the obligatory GG. There you go, buddy. Thanks, Morlock. See, in here, I can just respawn again. Awesome. Yeah, so I mean, you uh, uh, constant. Uh, you make a good point. There is definitely counters to everything. I just don't know them, and I probably don't have them. And I probably just suck at like like I, like I said I'm I'm a noob to the game so I've only played this game a you know a small amount of time but I really like it uh, I you know I definitely check in every time they do a new release which they just did a new release which is cool so uh, I think it's like 0.5b or something it was the newest release here all right so uh, let's do another giveaway here for let me I'm gonna set up this giveaway here real quick and we're gonna do another giveaway you guys. Uh, let's set this up real quick. So I, I wasn't planning on doing two giveaways for Oogie, so I got to set another one up. You know, I, I, if you guys use Night, if you guys know Nightbot, I try to set up my Nightbot for for all this stuff, man. But uh, for some reason, Nightbot was but Nightbot was not working today, so I had to go try and do something else. So let's do yeah, let's do. Uh, let's look at this. Hold on, make sure we got this right. 
All right, so we got we're gonna do another giveaway right now, and we're actually gonna do. So I'm trying to set this for a little bit. I know you guys keep seeing. He's like, oh, he's doing another red. So I, I I'm trying to do one for a little bit shorter. So, oh, here we go. We're gonna do it for two minutes. So I had it set to ten minutes before. So I want to do one that's a little bit shorter. Exclamation! Skip this one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, go ahead and put. Now you guys can do. Go ahead and put uh, exclamation uh, secret in there, and you guys can. We're gonna do another Oogie giveaway here. So I, I just wanted to do it two minutes instead of ten minutes. I don't want to wait ten minutes to give you guys another one. Uh, so all right, let's go back and we're gonna fight some more here. So secret mission rewards coming at you guys, doing another raffle, so do that exclamation secret and we'll pick a winner here in just two minutes. We'll do a little quicker than the last one, that's why I was kind of like messing around with it there. Uh, like I said, I don't, I, my, the Nightbot, my Nightbot's not working for some reason for me, I, I don't know, I tried to get my Nightbot to do the giveaway and he just wasn't, he wasn't having it. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to switch to do something a little bit different. Hopefully this works out. All right, playing against Stash Killer, nice. That's rough, man. That's so rough. You are the stash killer. That's so mean. <laughs> I love it. That's so awesome. Killer. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, thanks, every Pizza Mario. <laughs> yeah. So thanks everybody for uh, entering in uh, the the drawing here. I'm gonna pick a winner. All right, got a winner here, and the winner is Constantine Georgiev. Constantine, you're the winner, buddy. Congratulations. So uh, you won an Oogie NFT for Nine Lives Arena, courtesy of the Nine Lives Arena team here today. Congratulations. Uh, just go ahead and uh, you know send me a message here on, on Twitch if you can, and I'll, I'll hook you up with your prize and get you all going, man. Grats. Grats. All right, let's do a, let's do a little more Nine Lives Arena. Some I see someone's been waiting. They're waiting for me now. You guys are all waiting for me to smash on me here here live on stream, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks Constantine uh, for joining the stream and hanging out too, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to have you guys here while I'm getting my ass creamed uh, here live. Uh, taking up, but see, this is what I mean. So like, you know, these guys, there's no consequences. So they're just like, whatever. And he's definitely got a better sword than I got. Ah, uh, run away! Somebody who knows how to run a tank. Uh, I'm, I'm going to assume Stash Killer is probably dread smashing on me uh, here, but uh, that's just my assumption. I am a secret agent, though. I'm pretty good at finding things out. <laughs> Boom. 
So we got, and, and you know, let, here, let's go check on our Oogie. I'm going to show you guys the, so he's been doing his thing for, you know, the, the past, all the time we've been here. So I've been doing, that's one of the cool things about this game is that, like I said, it has these RPG elements, but it's kind of AFK. So you can go train, Oogie's on the beach, you got him some fish, he's good to go. Look, there he is, he's still doing his thing. We could drop off some more fish to him. So, and this will refill his thing. So see, when he's done, it'll just automatically be, see he's got 45 more minutes, I had more fish. And look, we're getting close to it to skilling up. So you can see it's gonna go up here as he puts a little bit. And you can kind of see it a little goes up a tiny bit. It's so small. <laughs> you can barely Aren't see you? it. It's so good. Oh, that's funny. Which uh, uh, SC Track Boy says, which sword would I like to use? I'll send you mine to craft for a fight. If you want, oh, dude, that's so cool. I, I, I don't even know, man. Uh, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> send me something awesome, and uh, I'll definitely. Uh, that's cool, man. I'll send you a special gift too, uh, for sure. So uh, we did two giveaways, which was really sweet, and I'm gonna do a giveaway of a stash dragon, uh, which is not a nine lives uh, item, but it's a crypto stash. It's a stash, secret agent stash item, NFT. Uh, which you can use in another game, which is pretty cool, and it's it's named after me. It was it modeled after me and my lovely stash here. So uh, that's also coming up here, and I'm gonna give it that away right before we end the stream here. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna we're, we got we got time. We're gonna we're gonna hang out for like another you know couple matches here at least, another 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. So thanks thanks for hanging out with me and joining us. So you know, like we said, uh, you know, PvP games. There's just not a lot out there where you know, even the PvP games they have out there you know people are like I don't want to lose my stuff what happens if I die well this game like I said if you once you get to level 30 I'm at level 17 now which you've seen I've gone up like five levels or something since I started uh, just today so you, you can get to out of training pretty quickly but if you level your guy up and then you you, you lose all nine lives like like I you know here, here's how I see it kind of going yeah <laughs> uh, so here, here's how I kind of see it going is that, oh, oh so I can see who, that's cool. So they just told me if I want to see users online, there's 13 people playing right now. So, but uh, yeah, so, you know, here's how I see it going is I get to level 30 and then I do another stream and I'm like, I'm level 30. Finally, guys, come celebrate with me. I go into the arena. All the best players come because they see him on stream. They, they all kill me nine matches in a row. And then I have to start over. <laughs> that's kind of how I see it going. But I, I think that's going to be fun. And, you know, actually what's pretty cool is I saw the other day that uh, there was a character actually resurrected, which is something you can do here, but I, I guess it's really hard. I'm not exactly sh sure how you resurrect it. Uh, if, if you guys know, I don't really, uh, or, and you're in chat, so if you, if you guys know in chat, let me know how you actually resurrect in this game. But there is some sort of complicated way to resurrect your character, which I think Eric the Viking was the first person to do, if I'm not mistaken, Eric should be watching if you're not shame on you <laughs> immortal got you yeah yeah so i mean there, there, there's so there's uh, cool ways of doing it and you know in, in general I, I think that the uh, infinity gems okay there we go you gotta kill nine peeps in the spirit world oh okay nice i did yeah i haven't gotten there yet so I didn't know. So you guys, thank you, thank you guys for letting me know. So there you go. So so once I get, okay, it's nine max matches in a row too. So that's pretty, yeah. So that there you go. That is pretty hard. You you go to a spirit world. You gotta uh, defeat people nine matches in a row. That's that's a pretty hard thing. All right, stash killers coming for me again. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's a good feature too. Uh, so when you talk about like you know, like I said, 
there's there's consequences. You lose all that progress and like that, and you have to do you know this whole uh, battle thing to even just get back with your character. So uh, you know I, I really like that, and you know once again, I, I want to see games with more consequences. You know I think that's what it comes down to, and, and I actually start getting bored with games where there's not enough consequences. Where I'm just like, all right, it's a rinse and a repeat. I go get stuff, I come back, I do some things, I rinse and repeat, get the same boss. Like there's never, I, I don't really ever lose much. You know, if I die, like I die, whatever. You don't lose anything, and I, I feel like that's the same kind of thing you keep seeing over and over and over again these days, right? You know, like sports teams now. Your kids on a sports team, everyone gets a trophy whether they win or lose. No one actually has to have their feelings hurt. No one's a loser <laughs> you know like uh but and i think that that's kind of what nine lives goes around i think that's what it kind of brings back as some of the, just that old school grit of just sticking it out there grinding fighting and then you know there's consequences if you mess up if you die and game over boom you know, back in the day, man, that's why I keep telling my daughter some of the hardest games after are some of these old school retro games because there was no save points, checkpoints. You couldn't, you know, like like you just had to play the, the level. If you if you died in the middle of the level, that's it, man. You go back to the start, <laughs> you know. Uh, but those times are gone, and, and it's nice to see some of the things like uh, you know, Nine Lives Arena bringing back some of those elements. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I really enjoy being an old school gamer. Now, I think a lot of the people who are like the WoW generation that grew up with WoW as their first game is like they're when they're 15, 16, whatever. They're a little I think that those people are maybe a little bit more get a little bit more butthurt about those things. They don't want to be they don't want to be messed with. They just want a game. And there's lot there's lots of those people out there in general, no matter what rate age range you're talking about. But um, it's it's nice to be able to have a place like this where um, it's very well thought out. All the mechanics for PvP in general are thought out. And it's very it's just focused on having fun as a PvP character and the things that people like to do most, which is fight battles, right? Um, I would love to be able to see like team matches coming. What about team matches? That'd be great. What do you guys think? So, I don't know. Yeah, I think that that, uh... No, they're still losers. These, these kids keep score, Ludger, dude. <laughs> it's so true, man. I mean, yes and no. I, I, I kind of feel like that's not the case, man. I feel like I definitely see kids uh, that uh, are, are just, you know, those, like, everyone gets a trophy. Kids and parents. You know, I'm just not a fan of it, guys. I'm just not. Okay, so we're, they're going to showcase the Immortal right now, which uh, which is pretty cool. So, I'm on the pad. Oh my gosh, this guy is going to kick my butt already. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. Ooh, look at that, dude. That is that's awesome. That's what you look like when you're immortal. <laughs> wow. So we were talking about the whole process of like when you die, then you can come back. Like that's it right there. All right, let me go kill him now. Ah, die! <laughs> He'll still probably kill me. <laughs> uh, see, he's still gonna kill me. <laughs> I have no stamina now. Whoa, nice kick. Ah! Ah, victory! That was only because I cheated. <laughs> the Oogie's all happy. I only it's only because I cheated. <laughs> I cheated. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> But that's cool, man. So there you go. You guys get to see what the immortal looks like. Uh, thanks for bringing that out for for me, guys. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, so there you go. And you know that's what this is about. And so you know once you get into the higher levels, you go through this door over here. I was gonna show you guys. You go through this door in the back, and there's like a whole other area that's just as is just the whole other area is just as big as the beach and this this other area here. So um, yeah. So you can go back here, and this is where all this other stuff is at. So there's a bunch of other things out here. So this is the arena where you go to do the actual fighting for your life. 
and you can pledge your skull. And there's a bunch of other great, cool things in here that we'll, I'll explore more of these things as I do more streaming of Nine Lives Arena. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna be here every Thursday doing the same thing. I'll be a secret agent. I'm gonna wear a different disguise. So I'll be in disguise. And you know, you guys can actually win. Or you guys can earn channel points. I don't know if I've talked about this, but earning your stashed points for the channel here allows you to eventually uh, cash them in to get me to change the disguise while I'm streaming. So I always do one disguise. So I'll change it to one disguise before I go and infiltrate the, the game that I'm gonna be streaming that day. You know, on assignment. But while I'm actually playing in the stream, uh, if you guys want, you know, turn in those points then I am going to uh, honor them and do it right there on stream. Nope, don't want to go there. <laughs> See, that's, that, that's where we go to, to fight for our life, but we're not going to do that right now. So yeah, so you can earn channel points to be able to get me to change disguises. And the channel points are going to be for other cool things too uh, as I develop things here, but that's going to be one of the main things is to get me to do cool things on stream, in particular change disguises while I'm a secret agent. And uh, I'm going to be. Oh, you think level doesn't really matter? Yeah. And I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be uh, doing that every every week. So every Thursday, join me here. Different blockchain game. Uh, there's not a ton of blockchain games out there, but I my favorite ones always, and this is definitely one of my favorites, right? So hopefully you guys will uh, will continue to join me there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, BD says that I don't think level really matters. Yeah. Uh, before I thought that you, you you had to be level thirty to get back there, but I don't think so. So, but I'm I, like I said, I'm still I'm still in training mode right now, trying to get to level thirty. So I'm not a noob in Nine Lives Arena. Appreciate you guys that were jumping in today and uh, fighting with me and all the new subs, Dausha and and uh, Fat Nasty coming on board. And thanks, uh, producer BTW Retro BT Love Retro BTW for those bits. So awesome, guys. So awesome. So uh, let's do let's do this last giveaway here for a stash dragon, and uh, let me go get this going here, and we'll we'll do one, one more match, and we'll do a stash dragon giveaway, and then we'll, we're gonna be done. Man, these giveaway systems are just not. These giveaway systems are just not being, they're not being fun to me right now. What is going on here? Okay, so let's edit this. We're gonna do two minutes on this one too. Yeah, like I said, usually I would use Nightbot for this guys, but for some reason it's not working today. So I'm trying to use this other system through Streamlabs and it doesn't seem to be doing uh, much here either. So I don't really know what the issue is. Uh, but we're gonna start this giveaway. So uh, go ahead and just uh, do an exclamation secret in the chat. And we're gonna do this last giveaway. This is for a stash dragon, master of the horde. And uh, you, this is also a th uh, an NFT that you can use inside of a blockchain-based game. Not this one, but a different game. And uh, I'll, you know, if you don't have a blockchain wallet or a cryptocurrency wallet, uh, I, I can definitely help you through getting it. So no worries if you're like, I don't even know what an NFT is. It's free. It's a giveaway. I'll take it if I win it. But what is it? I don't know. Stash will help you through though. If you guys don't know, that's what this is all about. Is that you know I do these streams because I'm trying to expose expose people a little bit more to blockchain games and what the cool benefits are, and one of the cool benefits of blockchain games in general is being able to own your own assets, actually really own those things, not that they're on a server that's centralized that Epic owns or you know Rare Games owns or whatever you know your favorite gaming company they own those and if something happens or you know you want to leave servers you can't do anything with those things so that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, with most gaming, but blockchain gaming is bringing you a little bit of a difference, right? Uh, and that's one of the cool things about it is that you can actually own these things. So you know when we talk about like some of these, uh, uh, you know, some maybe uh, earlier, who who was it that was saying? Let me go check real quick because that was such a nice offer. Um, who was that? Oh, SC Trackboy. That's right. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna try and hook me up with some sort of uh, some sort of sword. He said, "Check my Discord. I, I wasn't on Discord right now. My bad, buddy." But I'll check it out, and uh, in general, you know what it comes down to is that you know you you you, ha you actually own these blueprints. You can trade them. You, you can get real money value out of them if you want to. You can turn them in for Ethereum, and you know that'd be really fun too. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and and well, that's one of the big benefits, you know, of of having an NFT or having assets online in general, right? All right, so we're almost done with this giveaway. Let's see, we got, uh, time is up. Close entries. 
All right, let's pick a winner here. Y'all ready to pick a winner? All right, and the winner is Icy Flames. Icy Flames. Icy Flames. <laughs> is that it? Icy Flames. Icy Flames. Congratulations, man! You you are the winner of a stash Master of the Horde Dragon NFT which you can use in Forgotten Artifacts, pretty cool game, also blockchain game. Uh, message me here on Twitch, and I will get you hooked up with that, all right? So we just, I, all I need is your engine wallet address or your Ethereum wallet address, where you can hold your NFTs if you're very familiar with that and know what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna jump, and, and, and congrats, so congrats, uh, Icy Flames. We got three winners today, and thank you so much again to the Nine Lives uh, Arena team and Dread for the prizes and donations for the Oogies today on stream. Uh, really cool, man. I appreciate that. So, uh, Icy Flames. Icy Flames is the winner of the last giveaway. Icy Flames. Yeah, sorry. The giveaways are a little jacked today. I don't know uh, what's up with Nightbot, but I couldn't get my Nightbot to work. It just wouldn't turn on. I couldn't get the giveaways or any. I couldn't even log in. I don't know. Usually, I, usually I use that. Uh, usually, I use that for giveaways. So. Uh, but definitely make sure you guys hang out with me and uh, do this again next Thursday. I'm going to be here every Thursday doing this, showcasing my favorite blockchain games. I'm always going to be here for at least an hour just hanging out. We're always going to do a, a new disguise every week. So today I'm a plumber, just your average plumber, not a special plumber, not any special plumber, but an average plumber. And then next week I'll be something else. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a pirate next week or I'll be a rock star. Who knows? <laughs> it's all it's all fun though, and uh, that's what I like to do. Just have fun, talk about video games. <laughs> Defeated once again. Hey, Ludger, man. Hey, dude, thanks so much for stopping by, man. Really great uh, to have you here in the chat, dude. It's been so long. You know, I have super fond memories of our last Soda conference, man. I was just linking up with another dude from Soda 2, uh, which is pretty cool. So good to see some of my Soda friends over here. Haven't been in Soda in a long time, which is Shroud of the Avatar, a game I used to play quite a bit uh, not too long ago. Waiting for episode two, guys. Waiting for episode two. <laughs> you know? Uh, but it's definitely great to have you here, Ludger, and hope to see you next Thursday, man. All right, so we're going to go check on Oogie's status on our skill shrine before I sign off here in Secret Agent Stash. Heads back to Secret Agent Headquarters. You guys can join me in Secret Hedge a Agent Headquarters as well. Uh, if you want, uh, just go jump in my Discord channel. Um, and I'll, I'll put the link here. Uh, oh, so we still got a ways to go. So we're, we're, we're still, we're about, I don't know, we're getting about uh, two thirds of the way there or so. It's about two thirds. That's about it. Um, and I'm here, if, for all you guys, I'm, yeah, like I said, Nightbot not doing his job today. He's fired. I'm firing Nightbot. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to put the Discord, I'm going to put the Discord link here uh, in chat because I haven't seen him do it for, for quite some Oh, no, there you go. He did it not too long ago. I, just, I didn't notice because he, <laughs> he did it not too long ago. So, anyways, join me there in Discord, guys. Uh, if you guys want to stop and hang out in Secret Stage, uh, Agent Stash Headquarters, you guys can come be a secret agent with me and earn agent points and level up there in Discord. And I'm going to have some goodies for people who are doing that, too. Uh, but I'm gonna be here every uh, we'll be here every Thursday doing this. All right, this was Nine Labs Arena. We talked PvP today and blockchain, and we're gonna be doing a, featuring a new game next week. So make sure you look for my Twitter or on my Discord or Twitch or one of the you know uh, channels where I'm gonna be pushing pushing this out. And I'm gonna always let you guys know what it is ahead of time, so you know if it's your favorite game and you can jump in and help support. And there'll always be giveaways and we're gonna talk good stuff. So. I uh, definitely want to get some more combos going with you guys and hear what you guys think about some of these games and, and answer all the questions you have, too. So, All right. Well, there we go. That's all we got for today, guys. Secret Agent Stash. Signing.